I was going on guys is we signed here today we are playing some Black Ops 2 and it is tips on Tuesdays so we are playing some hard on sums and uh, in this game it did go pretty well um, obviously I didn't get you score like kill streaks and bits and bobs so I just want to tell you my overall kill and death but like what I got and um, it was 39 to 24 so I did do alright considering what the class is like it's not obviously a long distance class it's more of a short distance so I had to get involved in the game a bit more so overall um, we didn't win this game unfortunately it did go uh, 228 to the you know opponent team and it, we actually got 173 so, you know, we kind of lost that one, but overall, the gameplay itself for me it went pretty well. Now, it's not the best gameplay as you can see so far, but I thought it's relevant for what this topic's all about. And um, I'm going to be walking you through what my class setup is and um, how it's done good in this kind of game mode for me. So, um,. When we get on to that, it will, uh, it will talk to you through all the perks and everything that I have. So here we go. As you can see on the screen now, um, I have used the R870 MSC, the shotgun, as my primary gun. Um, with the attachments, I've got the long barrel, the reflex sight and the laser sight. Now these are all good for me because I normally have a reflex sight for every single gun. Because if I don't use it, then I don't feel like I'm going to be accurate enough. The long barrel is for obviously a further distance with the gun, and the laser sight is there for when I don't want to aim down my sight. For my perks, I have got the lightweight. Obviously, you want lightweight, so then you can run around corners quicker, you can get to places quicker, and you can just get out, you know, sticky situations. Um, the toughness, I actually have toughness because obviously. When you, you know, you don't flinch as much as you normally do when you shoot. Um, so that's, you know, that's really good for me. But um, I would have a secondary uh, perk too. But obviously I can't have scavenger at the moment because I'm not level 44. As my perk 3, I've got dex, uh, dex, three, uh, dex, three, dex 3, or whatever, however you say it really. Um, and yeah, that's, you know, aiming, uh, aiming fast after sprinting and you know you get up and you climb down places quicker so that actually helps you a lot also for my lethal I have got a grenade which is good I would have the C4s but obviously I'm not level 41 at the moment and um, for, my uh, for my tactical <laughs> I have concussion Obviously, for the uh, wild cards, I have the primary gun fighter, so it lets you have three attachments on your primary weapon. So this is very, very helpful for me overall. Now, the game itself did go pretty well, and yeah. So now that's all out of the way of what my gun class setup is, I just want to talk about the game and all the tips I have to you today. So today. I uh, I've wrote some notes down, obviously, because that's what you want to do. So then I don't forget it. Also, I want to give you, I want to give you guys the best tips that um, I can. So obviously, when you play hard point, you got to kind of play tactically. You don't want to just rush in there. And as like in this video, you see me rushing in there, and yeah, I've learned from my mistakes, obviously, um, because you can see some bad points and some good points. Um, so yeah, you you want to try and be tactical and kind of be, um, kind of identified. know your surroundings. Have the hard so, point. say if they're all at the hard point and your team cannot Stop. get there, and you know there's no point us trying point to get that down. hard point when there's loads of teams defending it and there's only 10 seconds there. So you might as well run to the next hard point, UAV and that kind of leads me on to you know know your way around the map. No. I don't mean like know your way around the map like as in running or whatever. Know your way around the map by all the hard points. So you want to know where all the hard points are placed. Now, you can do that after like a couple of games, like you kind of get used to it and you kind of know where all the hard points are. But when you do, like when you kind of conquered that, then you want to kind of 
go to the hard points 10, 10 seconds or something, you know, 10 seconds before and get to the other hard point before the enemies do. That means you've got a greater chance of defending that hard point and then not letting the enemies have it. So that's actually really, you know, that's actually really helpful because when you get to that hard point, then there's a less chance of the enemies getting there and all of your teammates can go there with you. It is better if you, you know, obviously have a group of friends and you're all in a party and then you can just discuss with each other, you can talk to each other about, you know, going there 10 seconds before so they all go with you instead of playing on a public game, no one you know, and, you know, you know only one or two of you are just going there by yourself. Um, so obviously you can't always have a group of friends, so uh, it can be quite helpful, yes. And so you want to kind of defend the hard point itself, and it can be kind of hard if you're by yourself, but with this class setup that I've got, it is obviously a one or two bullet um, kind of shot, like, you know, it takes one or two bullets just to kill the person, so it's kind of good. For what we are doing, if you defend it and there's loads of people all around, you might not be able to get all of them, but you'll definitely be able to get some of them, which is good, because that's what you want to do. You want to try and get there, shoot some people, and then stay and defend that hard point. As you can see, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to throw like a flashbang or whatever, and um, a concussion, sorry, and I'm trying to get into the hard point, but. As you can see here, I don't actually get into the hard point because I'm not rushing in there. I'm trying to look at my surroundings. But um, as you can see, round about here, I try and plan it a little more tactically and let my team players deal with it. So uh, I'm rushing in a little bit quicker and now I've got the hard point. So I kind of look around, see if anyone's around here or anything like that. And uh, they all seem to be you know, quite far away, which is good. So you want to know, identified. you know, you want to have your team there with you. The Another thing that's actually really helpful, this, uh, this is what I was doing in this game. Um, I was letting my team hard kind of lockdown. capture the hard point whilst I was UAV around like, the area. Like you don't want to go too far out, you want to just stay in the area contested. so then you can defend the Only hard point UAV with them. Inbound. Because they're not going to be able to obviously capture the hard point and then, you know, defend it as well by themselves. So you want to kind of give them a little backup and help them throughout, you know, defending the hard point. So uh, over here, I'm just defending the hard point by myself. All my team mate, uh, all my team players have just gone off and done their own thing. So uh, I'm kind of stuck here, and uh, I managed to get him, but one just sneaks up behind me and then kills me. Right lightning strike in. Now here, this is a pretty good thing. With your kill streaks, you don't want to have the kill streaks going too high. Like you don't want to have really high kill streaks. And what I've done here is I've located where the hard point is, and I've uh, placed my lightning strike over it, and I did get a few kills. So that is what you want to do, and then you can just rush into the hard point, and your team have now defended it, which is good. That is what you want to do. Um, obviously, regarding your kill streaks, you do want to uh, make sure that you have low kill streaks because you may not be able to get all the high kill streaks that you want. And the lower kill streaks can actually help you for when, obviously, um, for when you are saying when you're kind of lost and all the team players are out. Like, like what happened earlier, when all the team players were not at the hard point and you're stuck there by yourself and all the, team, all the enemies are coming towards you. Obviously you want a UAV so then you can track them down and you know, try and, try and, uh, try and kill them before they get to the hard point. Now, the, um, the class setup, well, the kill streak setup that I am running at the moment is the UAV. So obviously that's very good for locating enemies. I am running the lightning strike so I can defend our and I can destroy the enemy's um, hard point so then we can get in there. And I'm running the stealth chopper. So obviously you might not always get a stealth chopper but it is helpful. Believe you me, it is absolutely helpful when you get the stealth chopper. So it will take out all the enemies, well, most of them anyway, take out most of the enemies and you can get the hard point. So I'm going to wrap it up here guys, 
and um, I hope you have enjoyed this, you know, episode on Tips on Tuesdays. Thanks for watching, and um, have a go. Bye bye. That is gonna hurt the bottom line.